by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. But unfortunately, we face water scarcity. We face situations, we come across places where there is not sufficient water to meet the demands of the people. So water scarcity, so you need insufficient water resources to meet the water demand. Now we have already discussed the scenarios where there is water demand. We need water for drinking, cooking, washing, bathing. Uh, we need water for the industries and factories to run. We need water for agriculture. The living organisms, they need water inside their body to survive. So water demand is huge. Now, there has to be that much of water resources to meet this water demand, especially when it comes to the water demand of each and every living organism. Now, as the number of living organisms increase, the water demand also increases. So, now it has been seen that the, the amount of water resources that are available that are unable to meet the water demand and that is what we call as water scarcity. So, look at this picture. It shows that uh, in this area, only this much area could have little bit of water. There is no other water anywhere else. And this lady is taking up this water in a bucket and trying to use that for her day-to-day -day activities. Now the question is, what caused water scarcity? Why don't we have sufficient water resources? So one reason is overpopulation. Now the way population is increasing, the resources of water are not increasing. So we, we already saw that there are some fixed sources of water. Like we will see one of the primary sources of water is ocean. Water is very badly dependent on rainfall. Now again, how much rainfall will happen, that is also dependent on a lot of environmental factors. Now, so as a result of all these, the water resources are limited, but the population is continuously increasing. Now when the population increase, increases, the need of water for so many people also increases. So water overpopulation is one main cause behind water scarcity. So when we know that we have limited water resources, we should ensure that people follow family planning. So every family should have three to four members, not more than that. Okay. So when I say that, I mean that every couple should plan for one or two kids at the max, not more than that. Because if you have some 10, 15 children, so anyways, you are adding to that population, which, is, which results in overpopulation. Secondly, rainfall only during few months in a year. So if you look at the rainfall distribution, so forget about other areas, talk about India itself. So you, uh, you see that during the monsoon, we have heavy rainfall, but during summers, we have less rainfall. Again, during uh, winters, we have less rainfall. So during monsoon, so much of rainfall, but the other months of the year, there is no rainfall. So during those months, there are chances of water scarcity. Especially during summer season, we do not have rainfall, that's one thing. The second thing is that due to so much of heat, the consumption of water is more, the usage of water is more. So that, both these things together lead to water scarcity. Diversion for high water demanding crops. Now a lot of times people tend to grow those crops more which need more water. For example, certain crops like rice, the paddy fields if you see, they need more water. So, we should also see that, okay, if we do not have sufficient water resources, let us grow high water demanding crops less and let us try to grow more less water demanding crops. Now, but, some, but since a lot of uh, water is being spent only in growing high water demanding crops, that also adds to the water scarcity. So, this is also not a nice thing. Population from industrial and urban wastes. Now what happens is the industries and factories, they have a lot of harmful poisonous wastes and these wastes are directly dumped into the nearby water bodies, like ponds or rivers. This pollutes the water in the nearby river and pond and as a result that polluted water becomes unfit for drinking, washing or bathing purposes. So that means also we are losing out good quality of water. So again. Now, in order to clean that polluted water, it needs to undergo through a huge process of cleaning and purification. So, which makes the entire process all the more costly and ineffective. So, these are some of the reasons that add to water scarcity. So, based on whatever we have discussed so far, I think it, it is quite clear that why do we need to conserve water? 
because there is the need of water is more the resource of water is less so with that limited amount of water we need to satisfy all the water demand so it is very important that we do not waste water we need to conserve water because it is a basic necessity of all life forms all the living organisms need water water is limited as i said ensure equal distribution of water to all now sometimes what happens is i mean in certain locality so many times it happens that it's that in certain localities the, there is no water problem there is too much of water available whereas in certain other regions there is scarcity of water so we end up seeing that those who get sufficient water they end up wasting a lot of water so it is very important that equal distribution of water is ensured in all the regions to all the people so these are the some of the concerns because of which it is very much important that we start conserving water before it is too late we need to protect our environment because uh, it is not only about conserving water water is a natural resource water is something which is precious which is needed for the survival of life forms so overall if we want to keep the environment safe we need to have water so when we don't have water we don't have plants when we don't have plants we harm the environment in some other other way so considering all these reasons and all these factors it is very much important that we take enough care of conserving water of storing water and stop wasting it so here comes the concept of saving water what can we do from our end in order to save water in order to stop wasting water so a couple of things which is under each one of our control do not leave the taps open when not in use so many times it happens that you just washed your hands you moved out from the wash basin but the tap is still open so the water is flowing off due to no reason use full loads in washing machine just to Uh, wash two or three clothes you are wasting a lot of water in the washing machine because normally when you use a washing machine it takes a lot of water for one round of washing so if you are using washing machine make sure that it is in full load it is completely loaded with garments so that you are you are able to wash a lot of garments with the same amount of water check for leakage in pipes at your home and locality because if there is a leakage in the pipe continuously you are wasting some amount of water and even uh, when even if you are wasting one drop of water in a minute so considering the entire day you are actually losing a lot of water use a watering can in your garden now many a times when you try to water your plants in the garden you use buckets or mugs or pipes and from there too much of water gets poured on the plants so instead of doing that you can very effectively put water on the plants by using a watering can because the watering can will have holes and through those holes only the required amount of water will fall on the plants use water efficient shower heads toilets taps etc so these days we have water efficient shower heads so that it gives water or it supplies water only at limited amount so that you do not waste water unnecessarily so these are some of the points which we can remember in our mind when during our day to day activities thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again